Hello boys and girls, this is Arevit Magic and Tricks. In this tutorial we are gonna talk about uh, how we can create the ramps. At the first, uh, if you like the videos I make, uh, please subscribe this channel, it means a lot to me uh, to making videos like this. Go to Facebook and Instagram page, follow that and now let's go. Here in the architectural tab we have uh, this group circulation and in the middle we have the ramp. Click on that and now you can see here we have a free tools uh, like we have uh, when we create the stairs. If you don't know how to create the stairs, you have now uh, in the upper right corner a link for that. Or if you watch this uh, on mobile device, just click on the video and find this icon. Here we have create a ramp with a run or the run path and we have the boundary and the razor like when we create the stairs. Just click here to the run and now click here and go to end of this ramp. If I click here, you can see here I have a 1200 of inclined ramp created and 3600 remaining. But I can create the longer ramp. Why is that? If we go here and uh, to edit type, to edit properties of uh, that uh, ramp. Here in the dimensions group, you can see the maximum incline land. And about default, that is set to 1200 centimeters or the uh, 12 meters. And if I go here again and create another run, just click. Now you can see the Revit is already automatically create uh, the landing for us. And now we have a 2400 of e-client ramp created and 2400 remaining. And if I go again here, now you can see we have a 1200 remaining. And the last run, if I click here, you can see now we have a zero remaining. If I go here uh, to finish edit mode and go to the 3D, you can see our ramp is created. Why this ramp is so long? If I go here to north, you can see our level 2 is a 4 meter height. And if I click here to the ramp, you can see we set that ramp start from the base level 1 0 offset and go to the top level level 2 if we go here again to edit type here in the dimensions the second element is a ramp maximum slope and about default that is a one divide x and uh, the x about default is uh, 12 if I set this to 1, uh, to have a 1 divide 1, uh, we now can create the ramp with slope and have 45 degree angle between the, that slope and our horizontal plane. If we go here to the ramp again, go to run and just click here, now you can see we have only 400 remaining and, and when I click we have now zero remaining and that is all part of our ramp. If we go here and go to 3D, you can see with that ramp we also go to this level too, but we have, if we just maybe a little bit move this and go here to dimensions, go here to angular, and click here and here and you can see that is a 45 degree angle. Okay, that is not good for our ramp. 
but I just want to show you to better understand how we can edit the ramps. And if we go here and maybe create some floor, something like this, and set here to offset zero, go to finish, and then create another floor and set this to 120 centimeter and create something like this maybe that is a floor of our building and now i want to create the ramp from this level to this level if we go here go to the ramp here to run and here in constraints the base level it's gonna be a level one the base offset is gonna be a zero and the top level it's gonna be the same level one but now we go go here to the top offset and say 120 centimeters if you just click here and go uh, here and now you can see our ramp is very short why is that because we have here uh, we set here the ramp uh, maximum slope to one divide one just go here and say one divide maybe eight and go to apply go to ok just delete this and uh, create another run maybe like this and just uh, go to MV to move that to move to this uh, edge of our uh, floor. We just go here to the finish edit mode. And if we go to 3D, you can see our ramp now is gonna from this zero level to this 120 centimeter high. If I want to change the geometry of that ramp, such as like we edit that uh, you, when we create the stairs so just go here to the edit sketch and we have here now this green line that is a boundary and this and this black line is a razor if i just delete this and go click here to the boundary and use maybe this arc just go click here here to create that arc now click to arc go to mm shortcut to mirror by axis click here and now go to tr or this trim extend to corner and click here and here on also to for this and this side and just go here to edit finish and you can see we have our ramp Okay, but what if I want uh, this ramp is uh, gonna be a solid ramp? Just click here, go to edit type, and you can see here. If I want this ramp like the plate, I can change this thickness, maybe 30 uh, centimeters, something like this. Or if I want to uh, this ramp, it's gonna be a solid ramp. Just go here to the shape and. Uh, change that for the solid now you can see all our ramps is now the solid ramp also we have here the graphics the, the text size for our ramp in the floor plan we have the materials of that uh, ramp and as we uh, have already seen we have these dimensions maximum incline length and this ramp max or maximum slope okay that's all for this tutorial if you like this video please subscribe this channel it means a lot to me to making videos like this go to facebook and instagram page follow that if you have some questions uh, please be free to write below and see you next time